Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Wachach Kodash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and blessings unto the elect. Uh, I had a video I wanted to uh, do just real quick as a response to um, a statement that Apostle Gabor made on this lesson, which you see on the screen. Uh, you can't be that effing stupid. It's so simple. But uh, he made a statement, which I'm going to play in a second, that um basically these are are the questions with the topic that he was going into uh dealing with the gentiles uh was basically showing it uh was saying that um these are the questions that you need to ask that are pertinent to your salvation okay and he was dealing with the gentile subject but all throughout the scriptures everything that we read we need to make sure that we're asking questions about what we're reading to further our understanding and grow in this knowledge okay and not just be a parrot, not just remember scriptures and breakdowns, but we actually uh, are making sure that we're having an inquisitive mind to uh, uh, to properly understand what we're learning, okay? So we can make the proper judgment calls and use them in our walk, all right, to prepare ourselves for Yahweh Shai, okay? So uh, Lord willing, this lesson be edifying. Uh, I'm going to play a short uh, piece of this uh, video real quick before I get into the scriptures given to just one particular nation, which is the nation of Israel, also known as the Israelites. That question should be asked. Who are called in circumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands? Again, the question should be asked, the practice of circumcision. What is circumcision? Who was it given to? What nationality was it given to? What nation was it given to? <laughs> That's why I said you can't be that effing stupid. People don't ask questions. Questions that are pertinent to get an understanding. Then as we read on the 12th verse, that at that time ye were without Yahweh Shai. They say Christ, but we know his name is not Christ. That's another question that should be asked. Even the scriptures bear witness to that. The book of Proverbs, the 30th chapter. Let's get that real quick. And that's why these people are so ignorant. Okay. I'm going to stop it right there. That's the only thing I wanted uh, the statement to come out. And what she actually said was that people don't ask the things, the questions that are pertinent to understanding. All right. You don't, this is not a, just a, a regular novel. These scriptures are meant for us to dive into. And, and, and really, um, the, the, the word, the word uh, inquisition keeps popping up in my mind. Um, so that's one of the word, key words I wanted to go into before I got into the scriptures, man, because the men of the Lord are going to be inquisitive. Okay, so I want to get a couple definitions on the word uh, inquisition, okay, which we should have in the spirit, man, to, to, to get deeper into the knowledge, man, and not just scraping the surface, man, making sure we have full understanding so we can be, how can you teach something that you don't have a full understanding on, okay? The uh, first definition I'm going to go into is on um, is on uh, online etymology and dictionary for inquisition. It says late 14th century judicial investigation act or process process of inquiring from old French inquisition inquiry investigation man. So uh, in, so uh, uh, you to have a, a, a proper inquisition man or the, uh, to to have an inquisition means to have an investigation man and what are we investigating we're investigating the knowledge wisdom and understanding of the word man all right the things that we've learned from the uh, the men of the lord man starting with uh, apostles a great millstone on down man all right we are to not be parents we were supposed to investigate what we learn, man to confirm it that way you become a better teacher man that way your understanding uh, uh is greater because you've put in a proper investigation into this knowledge. Okay? I want to get another uh, definition, which was on point uh, right here on Google. Uh, you just type in Inquisition on Google, and it says a period of prolonged and intensive questioning or investigation. And, uh, and to give credit to Apostle uh, Gabor once again, uh, he has spoke on this definition on one of the live shows recently. Uh, so 
I'm going to read that one more time. It says, a period of prolonged and intensive questioning and investigation. So what are we questioning? The things of this book, man. Not questioning it as in a sense of if it's true, but questioning as a, a, a question it as in trying to receive the full understanding of what we're going into, man. All right? Because if we have the elect, that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be inquiring of righteousness, man. All right, Esau is inquiring uh, 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 in wickedness, and he's going hard, man. So how much more should we be going hard on the right-hand side to make sure that we can combat this devil, man? All right, to defend this word, man. All right, defend the gospel, okay? All right, that's what we're doing. We are being set up to defend the gospel, all right, and prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord and Savior. Now, to be able to, de to defend something... All right. I say you 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 getting ready for uh, uh to defend a uh, uh, fence city, man. Are you getting ready for war, man? To defend your kingdom, man. Defend uh, uh defend something. You have to prepare, man. All right. You have to train. You have to get ready, man. So that's what we doing spiritually. We're training, man. All right. We're making sure we got all our armor on, man. We sharpening our sword. Okay. Making sure we have proper de uh, defense, man. We're learning to grow in wisdom. All right, and I, uh, I'm gonna grab a quick scripture real quick because I had made the statement that Esau is uh, Esau is getting into uh, to uh, being inquisitive, but on the left hand side, man. So we have to we have to um, uh, uh, go harder than Esau, man. Okay, that's why this devil is getting ready to demonize brothers, man. That's why he's gonna be setting up uh, um, uh, uh, different uh, ways to try to demonize us. And really get on a carnal level, man, because they know that they can't combat with us spiritually, man. Okay? They can't get into the spiritual, so they're going to get carnal, man. Okay? But uh, just real quick, this is a um, book of Psalm, chapter, and this is Psalm of David, chapter 64 and verse 6. It says, they search out iniquities. They accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them and the heart is deep and who is this talking about it's talking about the elites man because you go further up in the beginning of this chapter king david was say uh was uh basically speaking on the uh he said hide me from the secret counsel of the wicked man so it's talking about esau Edom, man all right the ones that's actually in control man all right what are they doing they have bible think tanks man Okay, they're getting in. They they're studying studying uh uh these scriptures, man. But they can't understand the, the spiritual things, man. Yeah, they can get. They know everything. Like you watch the little game show where they ask all the different questions about the Bible, but they can't break it down, man. So it's up to us to make sure we the ones that were set up to break this word down, man. So we have to have that inquisitive mind to get into this word and ask the proper questions so we can have the uh to grow in the understanding. Okay, so we can go against that, man, being those those worker ants for the most high, man. Okay, just real another precept. It's the book of Proverbs, chapter 13 and verse 4. It says, the soul of the sluggard desired and hath nothing, but the soul of the diligent shall be made fat. So what does that mean, that the soul of the diligent shall me shall be made fat man in other words fat meaning you're going to grow and prosper prosper in what prosper in the knowledge and wisdom and understanding why because you inquired of the scriptures man all right you went into the words you got into the different languages man you went into history man you got into geography all the different things that the most i put on the spirit uh uh, uh of uh, of the apostle to heart on down starting with apostle to heart uh, uh, on down to tell us these are the things we have to learn and get into to be proper teachers of this word, man. All right, to, to, so you can uh, say that you are, I do know all things, man. All right, and collectively we do know all things as a body, man. Okay? Why? Because what are we doing? And I said the word body, that's what we're doing. We're trying to be beneficial to the body or the ministry, man. All right, the church, which is Yahweh Shai. All right? And what is the church? All the men of the Lord that 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 that's in unison in the spirit, man. All right, under the one one uh, under the same doctrine. Okay. 
I'm gonna grab this quick preset, man, because that's the whole thing that we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be seeking to grow in the knowledge so that we can be beneficial uh, or profitable unto Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shah's will, man. Okay, this is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verse 11. It says, Only Luke is with me. Take Mark and bring him with thee, for he is profitable uh, to me, to me for the ministry all right and just to go along with the um with the um the subject of this lesson i'm gonna jump to verse one and one because you want to know okay why is why is paul saying this uh, why is paul saying this and, and who is he saying it to okay this is a uh, first uh, second timothy chapter one and verse one it says paul an apostle of yahweh shah mashiach by the will of Yahweh, according to the promise of life, which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shai, to Timothy, my dearly beloved son, not when was it talking about the spiritual son, not his actual son, grace, mercy, and peace from Yahweh the Father and Mashiach Yahweh Shai, our Lord. I thank you, I thank Yahweh, whom I serve from my forefathers which, with pure conscience that without ceasing, I have remembrance of thee in my prayers night and day. All right. So Paul started off this epistle or this letter. All right, stating that he was thankful that he was a uh, 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 to the Most High man, whom he served man. All right. Now to be a proper servant uh, and, and a grateful and and, and a, a servant unto your uh, higher power man, you want to make sure that you're covering all that everything that you need to do. To properly serve uh, of the Lord, man. So Paul was letting Timothy know at in chapter four. Okay, just bring these men that are profitable for the ministry, man. Okay, the ones that's uh, spiritually equipped, the ones that have inquisitive minds, that's diligent. All right, to do what to profit, so we can uh, 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 as a body continue to serve the heavenly Father, man. Gathering the men that was uh, set to do this work together, man. All right, not getting just lazy, sluggard niggas uh, uh, that know they Israel, man. Not just uh, throwing a, a t-shirt on somebody with some fringes and saying, "All right, we about to go out and preach." You just stand over there and look serious. No, man. The Most High is only looking for the ones who are getting into the scriptures and really diving in and, and, and making sure they have the proper understanding to defend that gospel. Why? Because that's the ultimate show of faith as well. To uh, uh to really get into this understanding, man. All right, because somebody who really don't have faith, they not gonna get into this thing because they don't see the power of this book, man. They don't see the 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 pricelessness uh, uh of this word, man. All right, I'm not sure if that's a word, but I'll go look it up <laughs> later. All right, but this word is priceless, uh, to say the least, man. Okay. It's more valuable than anything. So if you really see this book for what it is, and you truly a uh, uh, holist dear into your spirit, then you're going to get into it, man. All right? You're going to ask the proper questions so you can have understanding of what you're reading, man. All right? And what you're teaching. This is not like uh, the public school system, man, where they just set up anybody uh, that, that, that meet the minimum requirements and put them in a the classroom and give them a syllabus and tell them, oh, teach this, man. All right? Well, I remember back when I was in uh, uh, in high school and even uh, the short time I was in college before I realized that shit was a scam and got out. Um, I used to always, uh, it was always on my spirit, just just being really, in my, I was being an asshole, but in my, I didn't realize I just was really rebelling against this BS uh, school system that it had set up. So I would always ask, question them on certain things, man. And they will say, well, look, that's what the syllabus, that's what's in the syllabus. That's what we have to go by. Okay? But that's not the same thing with these scriptures, man. Okay? Now, if somebody questioned us, we ought to have the answer. If somebody asks for a breakdown, an understanding, we ought to have the answer. Now, if you're not inquiring or asking the proper questions to make sure you fully understand, how are you going to get someone else to understand? Okay? Uh, this is uh, Hebrews chapter 6. And verse 11, it says, And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance 
of hope until the end, man. So it says desire that every one uh, uh, of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance, man. And that's what we're doing, man. We're trying to be make sure that we're assured of everything that we're learning, man. All right, we're, we're uh, having a, a, a high level of assurity in the spirit uh, uh, and knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Okay? Of hope unto the end, man. Because we know if we fully get this understanding, that's and we and we live what we're speaking, not just learning it and, okay, I got it. No, man, going out and teaching it, and in your everyday life, you're applying this understanding to your life, all right? And it said hope. Why are we doing this? In hopes that we make it unto the end and receive salvation. So going right back to what the Apostle Gabor said, man, asking the, 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 uh, the questions that are pertinent to your understanding, man. All right, because what does the scripture say? Well, I, uh, I'll grab it real quick. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. It says, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure, man. So if you really don't understand this book, when Jacob's trouble hit and his martial law and all type of uh, uh, the pestilence and all the prophecy is, is popping that we waiting on, man, all right, you're not going to have that strength of salvation, man, okay? Because you don't, you, you're you not prepared and your faith is not built up because you really don't understand this word, man, okay? But um, read that back from the top and go on to verse... Uh, 12 it says and uh hebrews 6 and 11 and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence put the same high level amount of work in okay to the full assurance of hope unto the end man so we're making sure that we are uh our faith is built up when the end comes man the end of what the end of this kingdom man all right uh verse 12 it says that ye be not slothful but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises, man. So we can't be slothful, man. Now, being lazy with your studying and not asking the proper questions and getting into this word uh, 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 whole-mindedly, all right, that's slothful, man. Because that's not, you're not going to have the energy and the, and the drive to, to teach this word if you're not getting into it, and man, and, and the more you, man, you like we talk about all the time, man, you can read the same scriptures a hundred times, man, but every time you read it again, you get further, you get a deeper understanding of the scripture, and it excites your spirit, man. You get hyped up, man. Okay? I'm going to grab one more scripture, man, because this is all about understanding the will of the Most High and why he's doing everything that he's doing, man, so we can receive salvation. Okay. One quick second. All right, this is the book of Ephesians, chapter 5. And, well, the point is in 17, but I'm going to start at 14. This, this is one of my favorite scriptures, man. One of many. Uh, this is Ephesians 5 and 14. It says, Wherefore? He uh he said, Awake thou that sleepest and arise from the dead, and Mashiach shall give thee light. And the light represents the understanding, man, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding, which is given from Yahweh Shai. Okay? Now, only this the the, the 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 whole point of this lesson is asking the proper questions and being inquisitive in the scriptures, man. Alright? Giving a proper investigation. The only the elect is gonna do that, man. Alright? And the times we're in in is going to show who's serious and who's not, man. Who's really getting into this and who's understanding it. Because if you understand this word, man, it's going to show out, uh, even in the physical, man. All right? Men are going to be able to recognize how serious you are about this walk because of how you carry yourself in this truth, man. All right? The fact that you're not getting rebuked left and right. The fact that you're not getting corrected all the time. Or that you're not making the same asshole decisions that you've done in the past, man. That you're growing in the understanding, man. All right? Um, but reading on, it says, See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Redeeming the time, all right? Buying back the time, man. All right? Taking advantage of, of the time we have left, man. All right, going hard for Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man. Okay, that he gifted us with this knowledge. Now we have to, man, uh, uh, bear our cross and get into this thing, man. It says, 
because the days are evil, man. All right, we are facing evil days, man. And uh, just the scripture I brought out in uh, Isaiah 33 and 6, man, we facing that time where destruction is coming, man, before the salvation. So we need this knowledge to protect, uh, keep our minds uh, grounded and sound in the time of trouble, okay? But here's the point I wanted in verse 17. It says, Wherefore, be ye not unwise, but understanding the will, the what the will of the Lord is, man. So that's the main question we should be asking, man. What is the will of the Lord, man? All right? And that's going to, man, hey, that's a whole nother lesson, man. Okay? But the will of the Lord is, 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 man, like I said, that's a whole nother lesson. I'm, I'm not going to get into right now, but for, uh, just off top, for us to serve him, man, to keep, like you read in uh, Ecclesiastes 12 and 13, man, all right, to keep his commandments and follow his word, man, and fear, and fear him, man. Okay, not speaking verbatim, well, man, let me get the scripture. This is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. It says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear Yahweh and keep his commandments for this is the whole duty of man. All right. And that, that scripture alone is, is something that you really have to investigate into and get into. And just don't stop and say, okay, keep his commandments and fear the most high. How do you do that though? All right. How do you show that through your actions, man? That you really believe and fear in the heavenly father, man. Okay, so we have to have that inquisitive mind, all right, and give a proper investigation to grow in this knowledge to understand what the will of the Most High is, man. Okay, so I'm going to end it on that. Uh, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Uh, once again, giving all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rokhakodash. I want to give double honors to our apostles and elders and great millstone and, and peace and blessings, shalom, unto the elect.